It's time for new new sports. All about jock itch. Sports bras. NBA. NFL. Lockouts. Lock them out the room. Yeah, there's the Matrix, Vic. Mm. That's right. Come on down. Come on down. Come up with a better uh, thank you. introduction thank, for thank the you. sports. You got, all, all of the other stuff is so well orchestrated, and this but, is just and jumbled. He dumps on I'm, the sports. I'm willing to have any of you come in and work on the <laughs> intros <laughs> with me. I'll do an intro with you. There you, you go. See, Jessie. thank you, Jesse. Jesse, well, Vic, see. Yeah, see, I'm. You know what I'm, we need is that's actually Jesse. Yes. And DeVoe. I actually was working on an idea for a little skit. It's the cheerleading section. Do you remember how Saturday Night Live mm-hmm. used to do the little cheerleading skit? Yes, yes. I thought about us putting on cheerleading outfits. Right. And doing a skit because I figured if we put on cheerleading outfits, how could it go bad? Uh, we could go How bad. could it go bad? <laughs> it could we still go bad. We're going to get into Rah, the segment. We're going to do Rah Rah so Team. Hard. Go. Go. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Ungawa. Paxterio got the power. <laughs> uh, Ungawa. The left. The right. The left. The right. Your shoes are shiny. Your pants are tight. Your balls are swinging from left to right. And left <laughs> to right. Uh, 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 uh. Just freestyle right there. <laughs> it could be better. So. Huh? He wrote that. It could be no, better. He wrote that. He wrote that. I like that. Well, thank you. Your shoes are shiny. Don't pants are tight. I knew a girl from New York City got one face tooth from two false titties. One. You're right. You left. You're right. You're left. Help, help him. Devo, help a, him. That's a DC. No. Shit. I don't know, but I've been told Eskimo pussy is mighty cold. You left. You're right. You left. You're see, right. You're you left. See. Okay. All right. Really it's back in. It's too late. All right, Chris Bob. Let's do it. This is so. Now That's see, you see what you see how he dumps all on the sports segment. <laughs> but when we do the political and global oh, stuff, yeah, it's oh yeah, all That's cool. when y'all dump. Yeah. Oh man. Come on. You left. You're right. Well, don't worry. The, needless to say, in new new sports, <laughs> we will have some cheerleading coming up. Cool. And you gonna wear a skirt? I didn't say all that. Jesse gonna wear the skirt. I'm just gonna wear some tight ass pants. <laughs> all like, tight. Make my voice high. You need to wear the skirt. Well, what did what? Did I get to choose your outfit? No. Strap on. I'll, <laughs> oh my god! As long as I coordinate. Would that be? As long as I coordinate. There's a visual for you. <laughs> all right, bro. You guys are so sexual. Think, I know. <laughs> I'm, hey. It's Re- Tuesday, Re- Jesse. I know. I didn't okay. plan on being here again. I got I'm more savvy. rest. <laughs> And I'm over here like, huh? I know. <laughs> Just going like, you guys were a little extra to Wait till we do our cheerleading outfit thing. It'll be hot. All right. We got to see that to believe it. Okay. All Chris? right, you guys. Well, you know. Is that, that Chris Bosch? That's, that's Chris. And Where'd you know, cut his hair? That's what well, he had hair like the vote. Well, I put, I put the Raptors picture <laughs> up here because I have to go back to when it started. Before he became Bosch Spice, which is the top trending Twitter. No, it's not. Who right said now. that Spice? What, they they well, weren't even saying that. Why do they call him Bosch Spice? They okay, said because he's sweet. No, no, no. Don't say that, man. You got money. That's what the vote said. No, the story is, okay, you first of all. The laugh started crying. I saw that video. <laughs> you saw it too. I was there. Yeah. What'd he do? Well, just because he's crying he doesn't make him sweet. When they lost him. I thought we were knees. trying to cry now. We're into oh. crying. Release yourself. I think that's very healthy Dig in. Unlet it go. Maybe Let it out. Get <laughs> Crying, Julia. You right. left. You right. left. I'm sorry, baby. Pretty good. Oh, no, you're doing good. I'm pretty good. No, I, you know what? Here's that was a good thing. Good <laughs> Do you think Chris feels better about these days back in Toronto than he does in Miami? Because he inherited, no. he inherited a name Bosch that means feminine, and it relates to the Spice Girls, which in tune is what the How whole. How does Bosch mean feminine? It is just I'm Bosch it Spice. You if let you him say tell Spice. The story? The, the spices is related to the spices. Did he get it from his parents? I'm going to look well, this up. It's, it's the part that everybody's saying, you know, the media gave him the name. And we know who all gave so the name. So Bosch is his real last name though, right? Yeah, but Spice relates to the Spice Girls of the yeah. late 90s. So the issue becomes that he inherited a feminine oh. claim that is not a compliment. So that's what's trending right now. That is it deserving? Because here's this man taking on the feminine thing. And in the NBA and sports, that's it. If Vic Don, is no lie, I cool. just searched Chris... Bosch Spice. Yep. Whole page of shit came up. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Whole page started I'm with Skip you. Bayless. Yes. Skip Bayless, those who watch, we watch Skip Bayless all the time, Vic and I. And then he's quoted here saying, Chris Bosch is the missing Spice Girl. Aww. See? See, I told you. But you know what, though? Let's not remember, let's not forget that as African American men, we can all agree on this, that the goal of 
society has been to, what's the word, demasculate us from the beginning of time. You talk about a, a well, a, a top performing athlete. That's right. Who was at the top of his game, still is. Right. He didn't. He didn't win a game, right. so he didn't get the ring, but he's still there. Right. How many people in this room could do that? Right. You know, so how many Spice Girls could do that? Right. So, so I don't see Spice Girls going for championships. So mm-hmm. let's not remember because he has a little something in his hand and his wrist and the way he, his inflections go up that he is not deserving of his titles of exactly. which his athlete. Why right. are we going negative? Why you know, exactly. I'll try right. to get Oprah for a second. Okay. <laughs> I just don't think I that like he should have to do all that. To okay. get, you know, it should have to be let's all about that. about his higher qualities. His you know, money. So what? If he's a you know, missing <laughs> Spice Girl, who cares? But isn't, man, Jesse knows this too. He says, you know what? Well, I know because I'm gay. No, no, no. You know that the Tired most of shit, when the branding man. no, no, no when the branding works it crap. works now here's the part I'm it's saying this if it's you get popu- if you get popularity from playing bad and it gets a lot of people behind you is that a good thing it's all good when you is get that popularity. Good, thing? Press is good press well, as long as you know how to spin that shit. Because whether you pay bad or good, you're getting paid. You're getting paid. Well, Vic, shit. just to show you, you how you big a story period. you've latched oh, onto like here, you, you okay. allow me at least a 20 second interruption, you guys. Oh, See this again. piece. Again. Take a look. This is the new Boss Spice commercial. Child, <laughs> them boys hurt my colon last night. God oh. damn, girl. Anyway, <laughs> dick check. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh. I'm on my ear, so you caught my mouth open. Oh. I, you know, I, I don't I endorse that. I, can't, I just found that. It just jumped up on my screen. I did And I had to that. show you guys. Did, that's you why you see I me start right typing. Yeah, I see what you did. Being, <laughs> a, being a spokesperson for the guy. I just found that. I didn't, I didn't know. You did know when you I just know. was searching Chris <laughs> Bosh Spice. That's not... What I endorse, I and mean, I don't feel that way about the man. I'm trying to run. A st- I'm following Jesse's lead. Jesse, I'm just saying, being a spokesperson for the LGBT community, you got that now. I mean, I'm not as well. Shit, I'm here. Any he press is good press, right? So, <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is, I don't want to see the big deal of the nigga like a little dick in his ass every now and then. Or so he's a little feminine. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's not about what he's doing when he's fucking. It's about what he's doing when he's so playing. So you don't mind if he gets a little. Say that again. <laughs> a little D in the butt. Little but dick. Okay, everybody in the chat room. <laughs> how do you feel about Chris Bosh? Can he get a little? Oh, I didn't say he could dig in his ass. I <laughs> said right. he cares if he does like it. We want. Right. I want to find out if they care. Yeah. I mean, and I don't. I don't care. I don't want to know. Here. Right. Gender roles. What is it? Well, actually, feminine? I do want to know. What's masculine? <laughs> what if he started this whole thing his own self? No. He just needed the publicity. No, I. I, I truly believe this is one of those things where the uh, the corporate doctrine is they've been able to mobilize a fan following and they've won on this and everybody knows that it, it's working so long as you ride with it chris is a good guy no one ever like questioned it when he was in toronto now he's in miami he's expected to win with the big as the big three and now he's got this ta- this feminine tag so the title of this sports segment is do nba players deserve feminine nicknames let me ask you this though or is the real question do the American public not respect women? Why is feminine right? You a go. Right. 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 So right. what is that? Now that's really what I'm talking about, society. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. that's started. right. You're right, well, We already know that the that the female uh, teams never get the publicity like the males. So right. we know or the it's money. Not, it's not right. So it's right. not. They just respected. get the penis. You know what? <laughs> he just killed and the deep throat. <laughs> I mean, the deep voice. Oh, oh. That's what we. That's you, all Devo, it. you was going there and they were listening <laughs> and they trumped you. They, you, you know, you got. You I'm got, still listening to you. You got you two magnum forces here right now. Get it back, right get, it back. get it back, Devo. You can get it back. You go and take, yeah, Devo. I'm on your side. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Bring it. Well, I was just saying that. You, stop it, Mario. You are I'm just so laughing. rude. <laughs> About. I'm just. You guys, be serious. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Guys, be serious. That's all I can think yeah. of. <laughs> Come on, Devo. We want to hear you. Yeah, go, Devo. I, I was just commenting what was actually Jesse was saying that no females do not get recognized. Okay, for whatever reason, maybe it just doesn't make the type of money because it's really all about money. It's a business. I don't think they care whether you're feminine Mm-mm. or you're uh, you're masculine. Mm-mm. It's about this making money, and the men playing on the basketball court make the money, not yeah. the females. And there's some gay men that are playing besides Chris Spice. That's not about John Amici. Are you saying right. he's gay? No, I'm saying that he probably has an <laughs> underground following. A lot of kids. Oh, okay. It might be some like gay. Men. Oh, let me watch my girl Chris and see how she's gonna play today. You know. 
You never know. It's a lot of people that watch for certain reasons. All that marketing is making sense. Okay, All that say this. marketing is making sense. Before, you want to capture everybody. Everybody. Before we thought about him being gay or feminine, who was he again? Just exactly. Toronto with Raptor. Exactly. And, 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 and were they Toronto. even watching this team? Let's right. say that. Right. I mean, How many she, people have they won now because he has a feminine nickname? And you know, though he needs it. It's like Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and then the other one, Michelle. Well, if you want to get a feminine D-Wade, nickname. You got LeBron and the other one. Uh, oh, yeah, now he's a Spice him. Girl. So now he, at least he got a little something. He's he got no longer shine. the other one. Right. No, he had his own lead. Yeah. He's on his own he's lane. He's up there with Beyonce. So, no, he's up there with Michelle. So oh, we should get feminine nicknames <laughs> like Mario the Bitch Hemsley. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that's... Or like Jessica. <laughs> or okay. Javo no, the Volvo. So we King the Volvo. Okay, don't talk about my name. My name is perfect. Oh, so, okay. So now this makes... I think the whole part is that it is a trend. Jesse's a, such a trip, boy. I'm know. over here. I'm dancing. Ah, yeah. Yeah, he's, it's you know, he needs a bad job. Is, is, <laughs> no, no, no. You know, he, he works fine. Dead. No, no. See, people who have that kind of presence really don't need backdrops. What kind of presence? Like Spice Girl presence? No, no, no. When you have presence like, on the camera, spice. backdrops don't do nothing some but fade. Content. <laughs> you gotta give me some low-key jabs. No. Go, Jessica. Motherfuckers that are gay don't need no backdrop. No. They no. colorful. So you are the backdrop. They are the backdrop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank, right. Thank, Thank you. Exactly. But my goal as an LGBT spokesperson is to become the front drop. Whoa. Oh, oh. yeah. All right. Let's hear that. <laughs> That's my cafe speech. Okay. I want to be your front drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's a goal. Just take it or leave that's it. That's a goal. Okay, you I know, like... we're still on the same topic. Oh, you no, we get to move on. Quiet. I'm moving on. Sorry. I'm moving on. Watch. I just work Jessica here. and Bitch Mario. <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> Jessica and Bitch Mario. Well, now, DeVoe, <laughs> now, I'm going to move on. I hope you can keep up hey. with this one. I'm not sure Mario may, but... The whole thing is, let's find out if the machine is working. It did, wor- did it work for other former NBA players who didn't win going to the title? And I have five names here. And if you had to say one word that represents them... The first thing that comes to your mind. So, if I say LeBron James, you think what? King. Ohio. Ah, you said Ohio. See? So King. Ohio. I said King. King. Yeah. DeVoe, what do you think? Not a thing. Not a thing. Okay, let me, me say mean. three words, Sonny. <laughs> what about Charles Barkley? What do you think, Mario? Attitude. Overweight. <laughs> Attitude and overweight. Man, that, that, I don't know if anybody's going to trump that one. Okay, Carl Malone. Used to be on the Utah Jazz. Jeans. Jeans. Oh, that's not Maurice Malone. I think he loved to drive trucks. He did. He sure did. He loved he trucks. Sure I never did. met a person say, I love trucks. I keep trucks at the house. A lot of trucks. 18 just wheelers. Everywhere. Just, I just love trucks. 18 wheelers. I said, um, 18 yeah, wheelers. Yeah. Gee, it's a little weird, huh? Everybody's <laughs> got that thing. Yeah, I guess he was from the trucks. He did the trucks. All right. Trucking. There, there you go. All right. Now, what about Patrick Ewing, former New York Nick? Which West Indian though, okay. right? So he the, likes that curry goat. But remember, these are players. plantains. <laughs> what know? does it make you think of? Play it makes me right. think of curry goat. He ain't thinking. He's thinking. No, they lost. I'm not going to call Patrick Ewing a loser. He did not get a championship. All these players he have didn't. not won a championship. Yeah, so what's the first the rest word? Of them. I'm not going to call. They're they they still they were good folks, good hard working athletes. Could you just be focused? Here, I know. Please? Yeah, he's I'm trying. saying Vic's trying to get us to call him losers. I'm not going to call. Wait a minute. Did I he's trying to say, me say losers? No, but he goes, "What do you think of?" And he shows you all these people. <laughs> goes, they never won a championship. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not what calling them losers. That I mean, no. I'm, well, I mean, just, that's I don't true, give a fuck. I'm, I'm, what, just picture. you're going to follow. Watch, watch what happens. The whole part of this is saying the machine is working. None of these players got that tag of mm. feminine. Until somebody assigned it from the corporate meter perspective, so I was. They call Carl Malone feminine. No, no, I brought this in oh, to okay. prove to Thank you him, that I'm um, doing transition. Thank you. I brought this in to tell you that all these players <laughs> were just losing NBA titles. They never got a name soft or anything like that. Why is Chris Bosh getting the soft? Because he's gay. Because of that commercial. Oh. I don't know. Well, oh. whatever it is, it's working. Vic, for that him. ain't no damn um, 
Oh. He act like we said something like that. It was new. I told you, Vic be in your what? window and shit. What? what See, you I told about? you, in, in your window. window. In your, Wait a minute. Yeah, Vic be in, in your window, window and See, shit. I told you, you start to shit. I just tried to do the right See, thing. See, y'all don't know. He be in your window <laughs> and shit, Vic. You Vic, you be in your window. He gonna have them NBA players come over to kick our ass. All right. <laughs> we don't want that. And we'll get to the gate. I'm gonna throw the vote to Boaz. There is no gate right now. No. You guys need. Yeah, don't worry about that. You guys need an iron gate, okay? No. Jesse said he can't fight. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to date Chris Bosh. Fuck fighting nigga. I'm trying to get married nothing. to a motherfucker. None of them. Okay, a house. That's, that's, I got a player. I keep my mouth shut. I got a player that it, a fuck. he has yeah. gone to the NBA championship. He is he's already put it out there. <laughs> Chris, I won't tell. He basically <laughs> is going to look at the market. Orlando Magic Dwight Howard lost the NBA championship against the Lakers. In one word, when you think Dwight, what do you say? Mario Orlando. He was trying to say. Lisa. I think of uh, Royce on the Reese. basketball. Reese. Yeah. That's his baby mama. Now every time I oh, see Reese, Dw- huh? Dwight Howard, I think of his baby mama on the back on the basketball wise. She's kind of mm. tacky or something. Huh? But she's nice and little though, and she's all she's physical. She's cute, but it's like she's so normal. Yeah. Don't she should be that's a little extra. Little extra? Yeah, not as far as Evelyn, but I wanted to be. Thank goodness. But they fought though. I know. I, I watch basketball. This wise. is not about the basketball. It, wise. It's, oh, it's, it should be. No, it's good. I like this. Keep it going. I'm a basketball like, wife. But none of my wives. They just <laughs> basketball. You are not a wife. I am to a basketball wife. You are wife. Not married. Just nobody else. Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> Them hoes ain't married. Them hoes are engaged and Thank divorced. You. Thank you. He's a basketball wife and Thank I you. believe if, you, if, if they can be one, I can be one. That's right. Well, I guess you put it like that. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get on. I done hit up Shawnee O'Neal so many times. And this is, is funny. Y'all say this. I keep telling everybody that I'm going to be a basketball wife. I'm I'm in. You're in. Well, would we you watch the show if I was on there? I would yes. Like I would yeah. throw drinks on yes. all the motherfuckers. Let's get everybody. We would. Yeah. There we go. We would. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We would watch the show. There's not no gay, <laughs> black, basketball wife. <laughs> That's no, right. there's not. That's there's right. Not. Have you ever met a man, basketball wife before? No, I could be a first. Only Dennis that married himself. Oh, Dennis Rodman yes, did. Yes, he did marry himself. So oh, okay. he can he can actually be the first he got a bone black himself. male <laughs> basketball wife. wife. And on top of that, this motherfucker has a good brand, too. So actually, he wasn't actually... Chris Boss wasn't the first person to have a female. That's right. There you Dennis go. Dennis Rodman yes. did something too. And, and what is Dennis doing now? We're getting high, but before that, he was doing pretty good. <laughs> he was in hemorrhoid right now. He was doing pretty good for a minute. He was doing pretty wait, good. Wait, 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 wait. You guys let him up the road and then took him right down. Dropped him. That's okay. All right. He don't mind. It's all press. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Hey, you guys, the odds are out for next year's NBA champion. And they rated the top three teams. I'm going to let you guys just take a guess on who you think they will be. And that's Derrick Rose, if you didn't know. Chicago, Chicago Bulls. Bulls, baby. That's a great photo, though. That's, that's a great, great man right there. Man, that is. Look at like the light behind that flower, him. He's about to elbow think... his own nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, we can work with that. We can work with that. Whoa. They, okay. they photoshopped like that, right? Hey, that flower, hey baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is tight. That's yeah, a rose, Nice baby. shot. That's a nice sure, shot. He has that a hand rose is still a rose. There you go. So here we go. You got three no, teams to pick. The, flat, uh, the Lakers, the Number Bulls. Number one. You said the top four. Wow. The Lakers, said Lakers Bulls. The Bulls, and uh, now the Mavericks. You think the Mavericks? Okay. Yeah, I think they got them, you know. Okay. All right. Right? You said the top three, right? You got it. You got it. What's the, what's the poll say? I'm going to wait till these guys Mario. To chime in. Oklahoma. Mm-mm. Number one. Uh, number one. No, number one would top be. Three, the top three. Dallas. Oklahoma. Mm. Chicago. Mm. Okay. Okay. So right. No Lakers this year. Not top three. They're Not number three. four. Okay. 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 All right. The ball. Lakers, shit. Heat, and Dallas. <laughs> Lakers, Heat, and Dallas. Oh, I uh, guess I could have shown them. I forgot. I that. forgot about Miami. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about Miami. That's too. weird. Why do you think about Miami? I know. And that's I don't even said. watch basketball. What's that's wrong a trip. with you guys? That's a trip. Know, Nobody said you, it. I don't know. That's why I don't know why. I just seem to get this stuff right. And I don't want to. No, we didn't say you're right. We just said you got it. I am right. I am right. No, you ain't. Yes, I'm right. Let's find out who's right. Okay. uh, Vegas Vegas has already put the odds that number one, Miami Heat, still number one favorite to win next year. Okay. Number number two tied is Chicago Bulls and L.A. Lakers. Okay. So, I mean, it's not far away. I mean, it's number three. Number uh, After that, you have Dallas. Stop. Did I choose all three of those? You did a great job. For the first time in six months. You got one right. First First one one right. All the time. You got to hear it all This ain't about you. It was about sports right now. This is why we can't have women in sports. They get too damn emotional. Why we even have a woman in here? Look at the man's world. 
<laughs> man time. It's a man's world. That's right, right goddamn it. Man's world. Man. It's a man's man. world. Man. Oh, wait a minute. She wants so much respect. You guys got to give her her give respect. Give her a foundation. Oh, hell. Oh, Somebody shit. give her her strap on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Home. You know what, Devoe? I'm going to say one thing. Home. DeVoe has gotten better with sports. No, I don't know. Has. Maybe it's Jesse. I don't know what you... You keep saying it's me? It she, is. Listen, I guess. she has gotten better with... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, it's your I have, flavor. I don't know. I have an intuition that is incredible. Patchouli. Oh, <laughs> well, what am I thinking right now? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no tea. <laughs> And it's to- you don't have to have the intuition to know that. Okay. Nah. Oh. Well. okay. Well, I don't know what the next two cities ho- is holding store for you guys, but you know, there's something coming up called oh, blue screen, Vic. All right, here we go. What's Who blue fa- screen, Vic? That's when I, my transitions go real slow. Oh, you was. I thought you were talking about that's the name of something you were saying. Oh about. no, it's, it's transition slow on the equipment here. You know, I try to keep up. Devoe, yes. here we go. Okay, hockey's not my thing. But you're gonna try. But I watch. Oh my God. Yeah. Boston. Got a pump. Whoop that's that. It. Hey, wait a minute. Now I'm a Jesse. Vancouver. I can't wait for you to do this because now Mario, you're gonna be I set up on this. Fucking hockey. Say thank you. Got somebody in the house. Because I watched it yesterday and you know Boston's my old school. They I just watch it occasionally. Huh? <laughs> I just watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't love it. You just watch it. <laughs> I you watch it. You must like it better. <laughs> I do. It's, it's something hey, about motherfuckers really that they, there, right? they got. It's a. It's a. It's a primitiveness. It's a. These motherfuckers they, are like beasts. It's man, too much they, padding. They yeah. It's too much padding. You can't see nobody. You, you, you no, the hits. Faces. The oh. hits are hits. off the chain, man. Oh boy, knock the motherfucker in. Oh. Knock, he took him out. Oh, that Violet, fucking Lou also. The fucking Oli. The Oli. Wait a minute. This Here's the part that gets me. Three scores, again. three goals in three minutes. Yes. Think about this. The ball, the Boston center defenseman. This guy's six nine. Six nine. He's six nine, two hundred and like fifty five pounds. That's amount on ice. Now, how come he's not doing basketball? Shit, he's doing hockey. <laughs> he's doing hockey. He can't, cause this, you get That's what the real men are. Real men is over here in hockey. Here, here they wear skates. Give me a break. <laughs> are you kidding? Have you seen them boys play hockey? That place, that's right. Them are some real men. They're skating. Baby. Devote. If you ever get a chance to go see a hockey game. Woo. You need to go see. It changes your mind. It's it totally your life. different. The speed and if everything. If you get some free tickets, invite me. Why well, gotta be free? Because I will not want to <laughs> waste you pay? your ticket if you pay. Any black it. women won't pay. I may get up and walk out. <laughs> So I don't want to say I paid for Hunky is Bob. Okay. The white women it will is. pay. Hunky is Bob. All right. Now, here we go. Now, I got it. I can't wait to set this up because cities relate to cities and sports. Bruins, Boston, they Vancouver, did. Canucks go to Game 7 in Vancouver. Boston been laying wood when they play in Boston. Mm. Vancouver barely squeaks by Boston barely. at home. So, it's going to be an interesting game. But They had the good question. defense. They pumped it up a little bit. And they Thank got you. back on Boston. Yes. They, Boston and then looks, Boston whooped that ass again. Yes. I know I'm saying. I'm going to for Vancouver. Really? It's over, no, though. I'm lying. The nigga next to me was fine as fuck. He was telling me everything. So, I was just talking to the motherfucker and <laughs> making everything up. But he taught me everything I know yesterday. No, oh, see, but you yesterday. you know you. But he's representing. Yeah, he's representing. I was because. The bar having a drink and motherfucker talking. To me. He's like, you like hockey? And I was like, hell yeah, I like hockey. And you really don't. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> but that's everything he did, I just said is what he just said to me yesterday. Oh, very good. <laughs> His like girlfriend came over and she fucked it all up. So. Well, it, that usually happens. <laughs> But it was good though. It's good. Now here's your part. And it's crazy because Boston been fucked up with the with the Red Sox. Thank too. you. Right. You, you two were Wait a minute. See, for a long they, time. No, Boston. Oh fuck yeah. Boston's off the chain lately oh, in baseball. Yeah. They came from last. Came, all that shit. They're back in up in first. Well, they're close to first place. Philly got the best record right now. Victor, but still. Yes, you ma'am. I don't know what he's talking about. But he I know something. Nearly some... just being a third party at this point and just regurgitating what he heard yesterday. He didn't watch the game. No, I, wish I got I the good props. We heard you dating what I had yesterday, but that one fucked up because the bitch came and sat down. But it's well, whatever. Yeah, it's then there's that. That's yeah, what you call that. the I'm fast reported sports. Mario, you're going to say a word before I transition. I'm, about it. I'm gonna stay on the hockey here because Please. you guys got to pick one thing or the other, and that okay. is there's two cities here. I want each of you to go around and give me the two reasons why each city should win the Stanley Cup. Not looking at negative. DeVoe, you have to go. Boston well, should win for these two reasons, then Vancouver should win. Start on that to. side of the room. No, I'm going to start with you. I early. I left no. too early. Come on, come on, come on, DeVoe. Two reasons why two Boston reasons why. should win and two reasons why Vancouver Beans should win. Beans and lobster. Think now. I think Boston should win because they play hard and they practice long. I'll take it the other way around. They practice long and play hard. There you go. You got I can your do it two, either way. Wait a minute, you got two reasons for Boston. Practice me, long and play hard. 
<laughs> what about Vancouver? Vancouver should win because they are motivated and they they need something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You actually sounded okay though. Like I, like you, like I yeah. remember what I was talking about. Well, you didn't say anything term, terminology, terminology. Yeah. Technically speaking, you didn't have any words that sounded sports related, but right. But I did okay. Because I was doing pretty fucking good over okay, here. Okay, you were. I had I thought you were watching lying. the game. I was watching both. Of you <laughs> shot us both. <laughs> you just blew us up. What? I know, right? Okay, Mister Know It All, Mario. Mario, you, you go tell, next. You tell us. Stop with the farts. <laughs> Vancouver should win because they are Canadian. <laughs> and after they win, they have a little teeny fire in the street, drink a couple of beers, and then I'll go home to bed. <laughs> if Boston wins, they're going to tear up the whole damn city. Riot police coming all out everywhere. Wow. And I'm concerned about Boston because all they really have is coal and seafood. <laughs> Which is probably wild. That's all they have. I like Boston. You like Boston? I went to school there. Oh, okay. So, wait, so you so Mar, you're two reasons. But they have beans too. So, hey, you're, they, but you're, Jesse will tell you, I have never seafood down there. Right, okay. Your reasons okay. Are That's lame. all they got. Your reasons are lame, good beer, though. Good beer. So wait a minute, Mario, you're two reasons. Sam reason. Adams, Sam Adams. This is why they good should beer. win. That's why should they should win, right? Why? That's that's why I said Vancouver should win. Why? And the reasons Boston should win, right? Is because they need to work off those beans. <laughs> I do. And they have all that high cholesterol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they eat is fried clams. You said you watch Because Boston is known for a bearded clam. <laughs> so you're, I know. Do you know Boston should win? Go ahead, Jeff. Because it's about it's time. It's time, isn't it? And defensively speaking. What, um, what speaking? Defensively speaking. Oh, stop it, Bo. <laughs> now I'm being defensive. I didn't hear you say defensive. Defensively. You know I have a problem enunciating. <laughs> defensively speaking. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know, the goalie, it just was the business. Mm, mm, Can I have mm. another drink? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> More Francis That's Ford Coppola. Kind of I'm trying to my... ask us these questions. No, again. no, no. I love yeah, it. Yeah, because no. I forgot. I left early because when she sat down, I decided to leave. It's only one more to ask, J- Jesse. Oh, Vancouver. Can okay, you think Vancouver? Vancouver should win because they stepped up their defensive game a lot more, too, though. Because they were getting whooped, at, they were getting whooped on. Yeah. But then they stepped it up. But I think they got tired. It yeah. feels like they over they overexerted themselves. Yeah. Oh, so physically. They, yeah. So they should win because they played. <laughs> Stop the vote. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're not answering the question. I'm trying to, but you. Now when you gotta be a stickler for detail. Now all of a sudden because you wanna. I gave such good answers. I wanna you have said, my They weren't that damn good. They weren't that long. good. In practice. Oh. That was better than you two. <laughs> okay. You okay. gave I no did answer. Good. I did good. You gave some off the wall. They're gonna have a bonfire and drink beers. That's not why someone should win. Sounds good to me. I mean, me too. Yeah, it's, it's a good reason for Mario, right? I like to sacrifice a virgin. We can oh, find one of them. Oh. Wrong. Okay, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. sacrifice them. All, right. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> we got one more section to go here. <laughs> no, and you guys, you know. Can we get to hot pick? Well, wait a minute. Wait a I minute. Really You're that, rushing really in. Really. I only got one more. Devon, it's gonna fall. It's oh, your yeah. up you your believe? way. Okay, yeah, do you believe? You know, you guys know about people. Do you believe that red is a root, the new color for red? The fuck? Uh, yes. <laughs> this is a trick question. <laughs> That's what This thing makes these up. <laughs> wait a minute. This one is not made up. I okay. guarantee. Okay, all right. All right. Devote. Wait. Devote. I don't believe you. All right, Go Jess. Ahead. Okay. Does that look like a former inmate? That's no. the that's NFL player. That's an NFL. That's Plaxico Burris, who recently was released from prison. Oh, that's he out now? That's the one who shot himself, had yeah. the gun on him. You know, you can't carry the gun in New York. That's right. He went to the nightclub and. Somehow the gun fell or something, and he shot himself in the leg. Right. And on top of that, after shooting yourself in the leg, like that ain't bad enough, he had to do like two years in jail That's right. for having a gun. For the New York Because he couldn't get the same attorney P. Diddy had. That's right. He should have uh, yeah, <laughs> had J-Lo next to him. Did right. P. Diddy shoot himself in the leg? I'm house? just saying, some folks get away with it in New York. Oh, Somebody you should answer that question, Mar- uh, Mar- she DeVoe had an interesting question about P. Diddy. What, Where, what, what did he do with the gun? Well, he had, they had a shootout in the club. It was a girl got That's shot right. in the face. That's right. He, a, a did hostess. he shot a girl? I didn't no, say that. No, he didn't shoot it. Somebody he was just near them. In uh, the entourage. I think J-Lo did. And some it. rapper that was part of the she entourage. She was there with him. Right. That was, oh, the gang. The, uh, That's why J-Lo and he broke up, because yeah. J-Lo said that was just too much stuff. What was, what was his man's name when I was in jail? about to get out. He's out now, the Muslim. Uh, Wait a minute. The rapper? He has a long, hard, deep voice. 
Yeah, I don't I remember forgot his name. name. Yeah. I can't remember his name either. I can't. That's I know he's talking about. I see the face. That's the one I went took the rap. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the one who was shooting had the gun, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. He right. shot somebody in the club or something. How do you forget his name like I that? Can't, I can't remember. I'll look it up it's while like y'all talk. It's like the game, not the game, strong. Shine. Oh, yeah. Shine. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's bad. I should have known that. Yeah. Why? Shine. Because I was fucking his rapper. His oh. rapper? No, I was fucking a rapper. And so you kind of knew all the rappers? I wasn't fucking all the rappers, but I was fucking all the rappers. You're not all. That you, because you were the rapper. I get pissed no off. My boy got to. I ain't say I was fucking Sean. I said I was fucking a rapper. I understand what you that said. Which is clear enough gentlemen. for the listeners. Right, because I don't want you to put that out there that I'm a basketball wife that be fucking rappers. That's right. You cannot do that. To take the people, take the one sport, by the way. Right. One genre. Trying to get hockey and go. football, too. One genre. Stick the one sport. One genre, that's okay. right. All right, what's your question? Do I believe? I'm sorry. Thank oh, wait, wait, you. Wait, Two minutes later. That's okay. always over. That's okay. Okay, right. that's all right. What time it's, is it? Four o'clock? This Shit. is a sports question, so it's going to be easy. Plaxico Birds, Mario, you remember the New England Patriots, pa- Patriots against the New York Giants that yes. one year, right? He said in a recent interview that he led the New York Giants to the NFL title that's and championship. Do course. you believe he was the one? He said, I'm the reason why nope. we won. Nope. Well, the coach as well, but I mean. Nope. So you, oh. oh. Nope. Oh. Plus, to me, he dropped a lot of, they always make a big deal out of the passes he caught but yeah. I I mostly remember him for dropping stuff okay no offense he dropped the ball literally he did some big he's known for certain big catches like the one in the Super Bowl I mean the playoffs right, well, that's right. Important. but I'm just saying all along the way though <laughs> when he caught that one we were praying like, please catch it <laughs> well that's important he's known for dropping <laughs> balls I mean he's known for he dropping balls he caught the ball at the right time at the right game the right yeah, game yeah so he he dropped the ball at the right time other at the wrong time too. yeah he did so, so all right, well, I don't believe it either, then. Okay, you don't. <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was easy. I know. I don't believe it either, then. So we got, we have one yes and two no's. Okay, all right, not bad. He got one you vote believe. in there. I believe. Je- Jess believes. He believes I like him as, a, as an athlete. Yeah, okay. You're all just right. being biased, then. Yeah, I clearly. Bias works in this Follow industry. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's the last one. This one I can't wait because <laughs> even if you're not in sports, you're going to have an answer. The Miami Heat, do you believe the Miami Heat's public relations and marketing team should be fired for the fan hatred of the team? That's either they plan. No. It, you don't think it was well, great press. You think it's great press? Plus, every, soon it's going to all be about hating just Miami. They hate. Then the whole state of Florida <laughs> will go down. And I'm all down for that. I let's don't believe let's that's hate good. Florida. No. Good for the economy. Yeah, think about it. Nothing's good about hate. Who likes Florida, really? And I don't. Y'all got See coffee. what I'm saying? You guys but are killing your market. I'm telling Y'all you. Y'all had coffee today? Yes. Yeah, you can go in and get today. you some. Did some? Uh, I'm about to leave in a minute. Yeah. I'm not going to catch you. Can't hold it, huh? I smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> DeVoe, wait a minute. I think hate is a terrible thing to do. No, uh, well. I, I don't believe in hate. I like that. I think they should not <laughs> be doing hate. And so my question is. Do I think that it's a terrible thing? Well, yes. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> My <laughs> reads no, it's do you believe should be fired. Do you? I do believe they should be fired. I think they should be Where fired. Drinking a patchouli again? <laughs> hey, stop that. <laughs> These black women what? are aggressive, aren't, aren't they? Aren't they aggressive? Yeah. No, 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 no money. Man, the white women will be back no on Monday. Want to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got a yes to be fired from one voter in here, Mario. He said no. He thinks it's great. no. I think it's great. First of all, it's Miami, where gold teeth is still an art form. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, they're kind of South Southern. Okay, you know. I'm Southern. saying they try to sell that South Beach because that's all they got. <laughs> you know, Everybody what? ever been to Miami? Yeah, I used to live in Miami. Uh, how you like I, it? I, I, I love too. Miami. Oh, you oh, like oh, Boston too, though? I did. Well, shit. <laughs> well, that's the problem. <laughs> well, what's the problem? I love Miami. You like Miami? <laughs> I don't like no, that. I do. Really? I, that's I spe- unbelievable. I spent a I week like one day in Miami. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I can't believe They got gold teeth with the little jewels in them, it's even the very women. down south. Oh, you know it is. Liberty it is. City. You go down to Liberty yeah, City. You, you, you stayed out. You down. stayed out of there. You didn't go to Liberty City. I didn't go to Corrine <laughs> or Carroll City or oh, no, you can't New. Do that. So, no place black. I like the Cubans in Florida. I was in Kendo and South Beach. Nowhere black. I was near OJ's little kid. You got to go all the money. It isn't like Florida. It's like. It's a new world. It's a different world. Yeah, it's it's like, a different world. It is. It's Florida, different world. I'm telling you, I've been to Florida. So Going wait a down minute. there. So wait a minute. Before <laughs> Jesse give us the, the, this answer, are, how many of you guys are recommending people should go and enjoy Miami, South Florida? 
Yes or no? You guys endorse that? Do you believe that? <laughs> I believe that. I believe that one alone. Come to L.A. <laughs> Wait a minute. You gonna tell me L.A. I better Miami? I believe you should go. Oh to LA. hell yeah! Uh oh, y'all tripping? Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding! Oh, oh, how are you gonna say L.A. is better than Miami? Hell yeah! The weather wise or what? Both. Ain't All no of way. it. That old no hot way. Miami is hard not to be stinky and steamy. All your shit be stinky and steamy down there, sweating and. Miami Ray, is like it's steamy. Now, That's what I'm telling you. Wait, now I, I'll say this: I Devoe know. and Jesse have Better recently been to the state of Florida. Mm-hmm. More recently than Mario, and they so got bugs. Up, update you, Mario: yeah, we're, we're You go outside bad. in Florida, you hear bugs and shit. You just go outside, creep, creep, creep. You scared them? Go down the street, you hear so many bugs. Yeah, bugs. They have <laughs> lots of bugs. They have more bugs down there than most places. But I think it's a great place to go and vacation. Yeah. If you want mm-hmm. bug bites, you don't have to stay there long. <laughs> Mosquitoes kick True. your ass. What about outside? But you don't have to stay in LA long either. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. You want to come out Mosquitoes here? Mosquitoes are not kicking out. your ass in Los Angeles. Florida mosquitoes. No, we don't really those have mosquitoes, mosquitoes really. chase me down the street in Florida. I was just running. <laughs> it's like a sweet, I was just, this is a sweet meat. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Like this, this pest control guy told me that Florida has more bugs <laughs> than most states. <laughs> I States. was like, where the hell they come? Yeah. Okay. My ass is over tickling tickle himself. All right. All right. Now, what? He, tickle. he, he does mean. tickle his own. What? Don't he, though? You don't need anybody what? to tickle Because bugs don't bother. Baby bugs don't like you. Well, I can say this. Inappropriate. L.A. has a reputation of being spread out, and transportation is a bitch Sucks. out here. So there's a good and bad on both ends. So well, you guys Florida's tell me. The same thing. But you guys are endorsing. A lot of people I've seen you need a endorse car, Florida. Florida all the time. We so have the, the most one, beautiful people in the world. You need our a car, guest yesterday, Los Angeles. Our guest yesterday, who was off camera, said the women, the people, the, they are so gorgeous in Florida. I guess that was off LA too, I'm telling you, I think the people in LA are the best looking people in the world. And because of the they mixture. Somewhere else, but, and that's what I'm saying. Florida's of, but that's people true. that, that are true gorgeous they don't even live else. there. The gorgeous people here live here. So it's a way. I'm just saying, look, Jesse, look, I'm just saying, well, and, okay, Jesse. People come to now, LA some cities are known for sizable gay populations. Miami kind of <laughs> known. But isn't LA supposed to be like one of the meccas? Of beautiful gay populations too, nah. over nah. Miami. Nah, you oh, think Miami's know. better? I don't know. All right, I think I heard that more LA. diversity in terms of cultural. cultural well, we definitely have more diversity. Where we're here in LA. No. Come on, we got Miami. Okay, Black we got Mexicans. we got all the Middle Eastern. No, we got Asians too. We got the, the Filipinos. Filipinos. Miami has South Americans. They have just got, the Cubans. They've got a bunch of different <laughs> cultures down there. Brazilians come. <laughs> the Brazilians alone will, will wipe out. What we think is beautiful here in, in Los Angeles. We got we the Mexicans. <laughs> I'd rather have Mexicans. Oh, let's let's, saying, let's start some shit Miami with the though, Latinos. They, the oh. Brazilians out there. Mexicans over Cubans. I'm sorry, I go with Mexicans. No, I like Cuban. the Mexicans. I'm sorry, I go with the Mexicans. Cubans What's the are difference? More oh, a lot of different. The food is different. Cuban food is. The better. music may be similar, but they can. Cuban, you can argue oh, about no, that. No, it's not similar. They have mariachis. We have Are you trying to wait a minute? You trying to say the Cubans got better music oh, God, than yes. the Mexicans? And the food is better. I'm gonna get all my Mexican homies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my Cuban mafia. They gonna have to take a boat ass <laughs> okay. over here. We got the Mexican mafia. On that note, now we have new new sports going out and getting hit, man, and, and the family. God, bring him over here. I take him. I'm All going right. with the Mexicans. I gotta, get, I gotta get Jesse on the last one. Miami Heat right, branding and marketing question. team should they be fired or applauded for what they've done? What's the um, because of the hatred of the well, fans? Hey, on people Miami. are hate Miami right like now. In terms yeah. of att- attendance. What are the, what are the Pat, it's for no, you know what's interesting? They said that the fans in Miami, when they were during the games, they weren't that loud. But this place was packed. Yes. So, okay. Sold out. Yeah. That's all, they don't give a fuck if you're yelling. They care if you're buying tickets. There so, you go. So, I'm busy eating paninis and shit. You're wrong. So it's a thumbs up for them or a thumbs down? If the stadium is packed, yeah, and they're, and they're still selling, then yeah, of course, they're doing their job. It doesn't matter what they say. It's what they do. At the end of the day, it's about the money. Hate is not a good thing. <laughs> okay. You need to be fired I'm if sorry. you're doing what? hate. Wait, 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 I, I hate, so I hate roaches and that. hemorrhoids. <laughs> okay. Now, how's that? Well, I, I hate <laughs> roaches and hemorrhoids. I hate roaches, too. Is that okay? <laughs> My new new sports is over. I wish I could extend this, man. You guys, I wish you could just keep going. But no, y'all hate is a bad thing. It's a bad no thing. hating. No. no hating. You heard the votes. Oh. New new sports. No, the two-headed dick. Two-headed dick right there. No hating. Here come the Matrix, Vic. Here come the Matrix, Vic. There it is, the Matrix, Vic. You guys got me. New New Sports. Man, that's the New New Sports, everybody.